back welcome back welcome back yeah so now the fun begins we're going to actually be working on the facebook side of it so what we need to do is go to our facebook.com and if you don't see this you might be seeing something like this if you find yourself on this page what you want to do is you want to come home so once you click the home button the next thing that you want to do is you want to create a facebook page okay if you don't already have one if you already have a facebook page you can use that page now the reason for this is that your facebook chatbot is going to be connected to an actual facebook page so if you don't have a facebook page what you want to do is you want to create a page and then we're going to connect your chatbot to your page so creating a page is very simple you just come in here you can create a choose one of these categories create a name create a name so in this case it's the parrot category um, and you can come down here and do like software so now you can kind of get the idea profile picture add to favorites etc so i'm going to skip this part because it's very self-explanatory and, and it's something you can definitely do on your own so once you've done all of this come back home and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you're looking for this developer click on manage apps and it'll take you to developer.facebook.com backslash apps so what you want to do here is we want to create a new app so select this green button the other thing you can do is you can come up here to my apps and say add new either either one works so once you, you do that you'll have this option ios android facebook canvas or website we're going to skip this and we're just going to go to basic setup right over here and then we're going to have to create a name for it. So in this case, we'll say parrot. This part is optional. Uh, now here's an interesting choice. Is, is this a test version of another app? You can learn more here. Facebook allows you to have test versions of your app. So you can test it. You can do quality testing and so on throughout the different phases of your developmental life cycle. The benefit here is that it doesn't interfere with your live version and then you can deploy it very easily and very quickly using this methodology now you can go ahead and read this it's under test apps in the developmental portal now for whatever reason it, when you are at your facebook homepage, if you do not get access uh, to a link if you do not have a developer's link for any reason you can always just come to developers.facebook.com backslash apps so put this stuff in the display name the category you can choose um lifestyle and we'll create an apple id and now it makes sure that you know that you're human please select all the photos which show a waterfall so here we go so now you're at the product setup page so you've already put in the app's name and you put on some very basic information so let's check this page out and let me tell you what it's all about it can be a little confusing in the beginning so this is kind of a quick overview of creating an app on facebook and let's look at some of these things. Now, on the very top, you have Facebook login, audience network, messenger, web hooks, open graph, app center, canvas payments. And then you have all the supporting documentation and additional products uh, that Facebook allows. So one of the thing, one of the things that we're going to be focusing on heavily is this right here. Messenger. So nevertheless, I still kind of want to give you some background idea. Audience network this allows you to monetize and canvas payments allows you to accept uh payments within your app right now one of the major issues is finding bots basically the bot store it doesn't really exist a lot of people are expecting facebook to do something completely different and one of those things is to use the open graph to really drive usage and to make bots easier to find so keep an eye out for this Ooh.